Bill was sort of the, he was the youngest one in the class, and, and Ken, on the other hand, was the oldest member of the class. He'd had a very successful career in the construction business. The three of us ultimately sort of became a team throughout the entire year, and even while we were in school, talked about maybe down the line we could do something together, and, and ultimately we did. Arcadia, our primary business plan is to develop mixed-use master plan communities. What John and Bill and Arcadia have created here is the, the whole spectrum of living is here. All the choices that any age group or demographic would choose, it's here. You've got to be patient with this. It doesn't happen overnight. It's got to sort of organically evolve and, and find a, a pace of its own in terms of how it develops out. The Beavers on the Bridges, as you see, is a very subtle way for us to kind of express our MIT heritage without being blatant about it. If you look at what we've done over the years, every single piece of everything we've done has been touched by that MIT experience. The Gateway was the largest undertaking that our, our company had ever pursued. It was a $400 million mixed-use development in downtown Salt Lake. It's built on a brownfield, so we were able to eliminate environmental contamination which existed on the site. So it's an exciting project where we feel like we took something that was pretty dilapidated and really recreated an exciting place for people to shop and work and live. I think in real estate, a lot of what you're doing is you're interacting with people. And I think the CRE experience really opened my mind up to a lot of different cultures, people, and ways of doing things that perhaps I hadn't thought about before. What we're really interested in is finding projects that excite us and that we can sort of throw our heart and soul into and that we can feel good about when we wake up in the morning. <laughs>